Hey, welcome back, everybody. Today, we are putting the bumper and mount on right here. It's going on right here. So, this is the last time the truck looks like this in the front end. I guess I'm really tired today and the heater's running, so I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of chit chatting. So, I got to take these tow hooks off. The near down will be gone. This bumper, this white bar, it's all coming off. Probably put some cardboard up inside the radiator for extra heat. And drilling a ton of holes. So I'll bring you back later once we get to that point. Alright, so under here, we got this bolt, this bolt up in here, on each side, and then on the flip side, we got the two that are right there. On each side, and then the bumper can come off. And the tow hook just got those two bolts right there on each side. Those gotta come off. And here, Dan, looks like it's connected to the bumper, so, so I'm gonna get started on doing. Um, as far as having you under here, probably isn't gonna work out because I am laying on the ground. So it looks like they're gonna be three quarter inch. I'm gonna hit it with an impact and some PD blaster and rip it all off. The interview. to hold it there for a little bit. We're not going to be able to hold it in the market. Probably going to have to do that. So I think I pretty much park outside for a little while.
so I guess we're gonna get it. Maybe. I'm probably not gonna be able to use all three holes. But here's the other question I have now is I might have to put this back in though because that front hole got nothing to hook to. And I think these went on the outside. Not that way. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a problem. These ones here are never going to make it. Hmm. Well, we at least get four holes. I can always do that. I have to place that in there. Well, I can do that after it's on. At least let's get with the holes that we can get where they need to be. I'll we'll drill those. Um, okay, we're hitting the other thing already. You think my Chevy had a rounded nose? It did. I thought this one did, but I didn't realize that. Yeah, these these thongs. I think the Chevy frame actually came, that one came out a little further. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I do some uh, fabricating here. So, we had to put some brackets, because this bumper is different from our AD2, the AD brackets on both sides, it all has been full, straight side, uh, drilled the hole for the plow mount, then that bolt that sits back there is part of my sway bar, put that on both sides, just put one bracket out here to hold the weight. Like I said, on the 81, 82s, the pickup trucks, the frame actually has a taper, so this tab right here would sit against it. But since we don't have, this one's different, so I couldn't do that. So we just did this, it's more than strong enough, it ain't going anywhere. So right now we're working on the plow mount. And raise you guys do it. And 
see if we wait until what we bent the plate a little bit. Or something like that. Not good. Yeah. Yeah, so we just gotta uh, I just gotta like, cut all four of these off. Well, I think it was at least these two we did. And then sat up there. I guess we'll go check. It doesn't fit perfect in here. We were aware of that. But it's okay. I could go through all the work to make a plate. Not that other fun stuff, but I don't really want to. Like I said, this is for light duty applications not to pull my truck out. Otherwise, this would be a whole different system. I think I'm going to have to go up through to do this. I could weld the plate to this bumper and do a number of other things. This will work.
that. All I gotta do is tighten all this stuff up. products out that you can use to do this but I thought about mounting like a 35 or 5,000 pound winch on this thing didn't have the money and quite frankly I'm just picking up a plow and then this will go to the plow. So now what we got to do, light on your faces, is wire it up. So once I get that sorted out a little bit.
or less. 2,500 pound ATV winch. It is. Just got some U-bolts to the tube through a bracket. Yeah. You know, that type of stuff. Like that's gonna be plow mount. You know, it's got this part here. The controller is right there, zip tied. So, gotta get the plow mounted.